No, no, no. This isn't good at all. In other news, a school shooting took place this time last week, along with several murders that occurred at night, where the families in question were murdered and then hung from the ceiling and wall in the form of a cross, with alphabet letters written on the walls. Well, we searched the house, and many things were still in place, and that seemed kind of awkward. So we decided to do some digging, blood was left all over the floor, and even the two kids that lived here were killed brutally. Well, he's not left his house since he got home this evening. His family is currently eating dinner. From my position, I can pick any of them off with G's rifle. Men came. They, they shot the little girl. They are stealing things from the house. That little girl is still lying there. She looks like she's breathing. Maybe I can help her. We have a rogue cop killing under our name. I've seen this before. As a soldier, I can tell you he's very green in the field we perch in. We're extremely confused, because this isn't the normal killing pattern of the Alpha K. They're not this rude to their victims. However, we can't rule out anything. I don't have a theory on why they would murder like this all of a sudden. However, as we all know, murderers don't really need a reason to change their style. Unexpected in the small city of Vancouver, we see a rise in crime in the area. Many murders along with a taunting note written in what seems to be the victim's blood. With a letter of the alphabet lying next to their body, we're claiming these the alphabet murders told to us by Ryan Flocka. And chief of BCPD. The bodies were hung up on the wall using brass nails bent upwards to lock them in place as the blood drained down. Find the fuck that did this and end his pitiful life. <laughs>